Hey, it's Tannis. Yes, we will go over the characters for those who are not familiar with the, uh, the world. It's a year old. It was a 1991, no. Champions of Crid was a 1990, according to Wikipedia. Um, sounds about right. I of the Beholder was 1991. So, like, you compare the visuals from this game to Eye of the Beholder, and Eye of the Beholder is, like, light years beyond, which is funny. Um, but this was also based heavily in, like, how rooted SSI was in maintaining the same engine, and they did small tweaks to it, but they didn't really do much of anything to it. They just kept using the same engine over and over and over. Um... So we're going to do demo, because I think that'll show everything. Even with the defeat of the Dragon Armies, evil never rests. Your hardy band of adventurers have been summoned to rid the land of this evil and prevent the Dark Queen from becoming the undisputed ruler of Kryn. Explore cities. Oh, look at those cities. <clears throat> My god. I mean, we already know the basics of this whole thing. Um, oh my god, I can't get out of this once it starts it. Dear Lord. Find shops where you may purchase equipment to aid in your adventure. Whatever. Reset. Um, I will skip past the opening so we don't have to listen to the music yet again. Say play. Okay. Going into the manual real quick. Um, because I didn't bother checking what the hell the reason is for us to be here. Uh... It begins after the War of the Lands, the evil armies have been shattered, and most of the forces of good have returned to their homelands, leaving only outposts to safeguard the recovered lands. Your goal is to assemble a party of adventurers to serve in these border outposts. The newly created party appears at an outpost south of the former hobgoblin capital of Throttle, with orders to scour the area for any sign of lingering evil. After outfitting your characters with weapons and armor, the party is ready to begin adventuring. Um, so for those who don't end up knowing, the... Uh, War of the Lance, um, which is, this is done afterwards, is the first original trilogy that was in the Dragonlance novels. So Dragonlance as a Dragonlance as a series was created to give an identity to D and D on a marketing level because when they attempted to market D and D to other avenues such as like television and Hollywood and things like that. Basically, the media pushed back and said, well, you don't have any real identifiers that says, hey, this is D&D, &D, other than the fact that you're a game with a set of rules. So, TSR, who was the owner, original owners of the company, I believe, um, at the time with Gary Gygax ended up... I, I don't remember if Gary Gygax headed it or if it was the other. There was a whole bunch of problems behind the scenes, apparently. But uh, their response to... That criticism was to create Dragonlance, and Dragonlance was created by primarily the two authors, Margaret we Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. Um, and their books are fantastic. They're a little like corny these days because a lot of the stuff that's in the books is stuff that you're used to, and you'll be all like, "Oh, well, that's old and used tropes." Well, they didn't feel really old and used at the time. Um, so they were really good, and there's there was a basic set of characters attached to it, and we will see a lot of those characters in this series of games, from what I understand. I do know that we'll see one relatively early on. Um, but we're going to start off with um, adding our characters to the party. So the War of the Lance, going back to it. <gasps> what happened to my group? Oh, no. It didn't save them. Oh no, my characters didn't get saved. I wrote them down, so we'll have to make them from scratch. You know what? I'm going to need check save games. I can't. So so I did start playing Champions of Crane on my own off to the side a long time ago. I didn't get far before I was all like, you know what? I should save this and do it on stream. Um, so I can't check save games because those will actually be the ones I've done. So as far as how far I've gone into the game beforehand, I've done the first dungeon. That is it. Um, we're going to have to remake these characters together. Um, so we're going to be starting off, let's see, uh, create, add character to party. Kern should be the first one. 
add if he is fine. He's very much fine. So Kern was named by Isaac because I was trying to find a name. He is a Knight of the Crown. He is a member of the Knights of Salomnia. Um, the Salomnic Knights are a, an or a very ancient order of basically your stereotypical medieval knight where honor and duty and justice was everything. So basically being a Knight of the Crown is akin to being a paladin minus all the paladin stuff. Uh, they don't get lay on hands or anything as far as I understand, but the knights are kind of important in a lot of ways, and the suggestion in the manual and other people who play is to make sure that you have a member of the knights in your group because it opens up a lot of pathways. If you don't have a knight in the group, you will end up having a lot of things close off to you. He has a strength of 1894, intelligence 12, wisdom 16, dexterity 14, constitution 16, charisma 17. And gold is not in this universe. Gold is no longer valuable. What's valuable due to the wars, and I don't remember the, everything behind it, but what's most valuable is steel. So our wep our monetary mon our money is steel. And apparently he only has two. Goody. That's great. Okay. So we're going to add another character to the party, and I believe I recreated Karen. I believe. View character, select. So she is a chaotic good human cleric cler cleric of Kiri Jolith. Kiri Jolith is one of the deities. So as a quick overview is um, the gods were gone from the world of Kryn until relatively recently they have come back. They basically said, fuck you to all the mortal races due to some issues in the past which caused the gods... Basically, the, the mortal races, if I remember correctly had a cataclysmic event that they caused because they decided to get a little too big for themselves and sat there and said, the gods serve us, not the other way around. You're going to do what we want. And the gods basically said, fuck you, caused a cataclysm which completely sundered the world, changed everything, including its geography and everything. And afterwards, the gods just said, oh, by the way, a second fuck you, we're leaving. And they just vanished from existence. They basically went into hiding and just stopped responding to anything. The War of the Lance actually starts in that clerics don't exist. People are still trying to find proof of existence of the gods. No one remembers the gods because it's been too long. People hear of the gods, but no one wor really worships them anymore. And there is no actual evidence of their existence. Clerical magic is non-existent and comes back into existence in the beginning of the three books. So clerics and clerical magic is relatively new again. Can we be an acrobat? No! This is not... <laughs> this is not that old. Okay. So she's a member of... She's a cleric of Kiri Jalith. Picking an actual deity that she's attached to, it gives her a plus one to her Thacko. For Kiri Jalith gives her a plus one to her Thacko, which means plus one extra hit chance. Um, we are going to add, let me see, where's my other, pe my list of people that I had originally made when I was making them. So we are going to have to create a new character and we are creating a Kender. So if you look at the list, we have what are known as Sylvanesti Elves, Qualanesti Elves, Half Elves, Mountain Dwarves, Hill Dwarves, Kenders, and Human. Gnomes aren't here and Halflings aren't here, um, amongst the options. Kender essentially is the replacement for halflings in the world of Kryn. Kender are small, childlike beings um, with pointed ears, and they typically wear their hair up in top knots, so ponytail at the top. Um, they also carry a very specific weapon known as the hupak. The hupak is basically a large staff with a sling attached to the top of it. Kender have an ability known as taunt. They are known for being able to drive people crazy by throwing some of the most creative insults that basically if you use taunt while you're in battle, it causes any enemy that's affected by taunt to take a penalty to all of their attack rolls unless they're attacking the Kender specifically. Um, so we're going to create a Kender. We're going to make a male. And he is going to be a fighter thief because we're going to gimp ourselves that way. He's going to be neutral good. Reroll stats. So we want good dexterity and we want decent strength. But dexterity is our primary. Oh, uh, no. We did it wrong. Eh. Exit. Is this icon okay? Yeah, sure. Save. No. 
Okay, great. <clears throat> Tender, male. See, I was trying to do this off to the side so we didn't have to do this on stream. Fighter thief, neutral good. I do have a name for him, so reroll stats, yes. We want, we're just doing yes. Dexterity to be as high as possible, preferably 18 or higher. I think he can go to 19 as a kender. I don't remember. Yes, it can go to 19. So we have a 19 strength, 15. 19 dexterity, 15 strength, 17 constitution. Holy shit. <clears throat> Let's say no. Let's keep him. I already have a name for him. This is Brimble. Um, and I have... So I was smart in that I took time when I was making my own characters and I took screenshots of them so that I wouldn't lose them. So it's easy, also easy for me to remember how to remake them. So parts, weapon, next, 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 next. The bottom one is the one we're looking at, if you're wondering. Because the one at the top, the old one, is the one that the game assigns to us. So I'm trying to... There's a hookback. So we're going to use the hookback. We're going to keep that. <clears throat> uh, head is fine. Exit, first color, hair, next, next, that one, keep, um, body, oh god, I don't think I did, okay, that one, keep, shield is not in thing, arm, I believe we're making it white and blue, so the bottom is going to be a blue. Uh, it's a light blue, that one. So keep that. Leg. I think I made, uh, I made this also blue-ish. Looks like. There. Keep. Uh, exit. Second color. So arm. There. Keep. And then body. Eh. Let's keep it that one. Keep. I think this is the closest we're going to get to him. It is. Exit. You played more Heroes of the Lance than this, but you remember some of this. Heroes of the Lance was the 2D one. That's a pain in the ass. <clears throat> um, exit. Is this icon okay? Yes. Save Brimble? Yes. So we are going to... Add character, we will add Brimble to the party. Exit. We're gonna create another new character. So we're basically, we're making two elves. We're making a Sylvanesti elf. So Sylvanesti are kind of like, I don't know what the, how you would call them. They're essentially like moon elves, in a way. Um, making a female. And we are gonna make her a cleric ranger. I think I might make her to Kiri Jolith. Yeah, we'll make her to Kiri Jolith. She'll be chaotic good. Um, so Kiri Jolith gives her a plus one to her Thacko, like I said. So she automatically has a lower Thacko from starting. Reroll stats. So we want her wisdom to be 18. We want her dexterity to be hot. These are really good. These are stupid good. Strength 16, Intelligence 17, Wisdom 18, Dexterity 17, Constitution 17, Charisma 16. What does a ranger want for their stats? I forget. I was asking this last time when I was recreating it, and Isaac looked it up, and he was like, what the fuck? <clears throat> because it was, like, really, really weird in this edition what the prime requisites were for clerics. By the way, before I forget, I need to turn on background music so we're not dying internally. Um, wrong window. It needs to be this browser. Da -da -da -ba -ba. Give me a second. Because we got to go through this whole, like, you know, the, the, the commercials that you need to go through now. Freaking hell. All right now. God damn it. Yes, State Farm, we already know. Oh. 
We have to watch through this entire ad. We had an ad a second ago, but it didn't like the fact that I rewound the video to the beginning. So it's playing two more ads. I need to get like one of the, <laughs> one of the new ad blockers because they, they do the whole thing. I got rid of the other ad blocker I had because it's worthless now. But, dear lord, they really want to push people into using ad blockers. Yeah, lately they have been. Like, badly. Like, I'm all, I've am all i been all for watching the commercials and not caring about it because whatever, let, let them get whatever off of it and let people, like, make money off of it. I don't give a crap. But they've been annoying the hell out of me. Okay, so if a ranger has a constitution of 17 plus, here, so here's what it says. Rangers can fight with any armor or weapons, which means her exclusions are going to be based upon her being a cleric. Rangers can have exceptional strength and gain additional HP bonuses if they have a constitution of 17 plus. Uh, they do additional damage in combat when fighting giant class creatures. Rangers must be of... This is really loud. There. Uh, Rangers must be of good alignment and have ability scores of at least 13 in strength and intelligence and at least 14 in wisdom and constitution. Prime requisites for Rangers are strength, intelligence, and wisdom. So this is really good. Are we re-rolling her stats? No. She's also a cleric, ranger. We're going to keep her as she is. I'm not even going to adjust her. So her name is Aaliyah. Aliha. And the character portrait that I originally created for her is what we're going to mimic. And so we're going to go, first of all, parts, weapon. We're putting her with a bow and a quiver. That one. Keep. Exit. First color. Uh, body. Keep. Uh, weapon. It changes the arrows on her back, and you can bear and the arrow she's holding, and you can barely see it. Uh, there is actually that one. Keep that. <clears throat> okay. Hair. So the one thing I try to do, like I did with Leora, is I'm going to try and create characters that have very... They're a lot more noticeable in the field. You'll know which one's the elf kind of thing. That's the goal. Arm. Uh, we're keeping that. Leg. Next. Keep that one. Okay, exit. Second color. Uh, weapon. Previous? I think I used the blue. This one. Keep. Um, face. So, she's Sylvanesti, so I'm making her pale because Sylvanesti elves are very pale, pale, pale. Um, from what I remember. Uh, body. Keep. Yep. And then legs. It's a lot easier when I have taken, like, things of them beforehand, so I don't have to be all like, Oh, what looks good? What do I like? So this is her. This is what she's gonna look like. And we are gonna exit. Exit. Is this icon okay? Yes. Save Aaliyah. Yes. Add character to party. Aaliyah. Exit. Okay. Our next character that we're making is... If you have an alternative idea... For a name, I will take it. But it is a Qualinesti elf, which is essentially like a wood elf, who is also going to be. So we're doing we're doing a triple class. We're doing cleric, fighter, white mage. So here's the thing that we have to understand, and I don't fully understand it. So magic in the world of Kryn is governed by what are known as the Towers of High Sorcery. The Towers of High Sorcery are split into good, neutral, evil, which is white, red, black. Black is very difficult to deal with, very difficult to find. And there are three moons in the sky, but no one can... And each of the moons are based off of those three colors. No one can really see the black moon, except for those who are members of the black robes. Uh, Nuatari is that moon. I believe Lunatari and... 
Oh, what's the name of the white moon? Lunatari is the white moon, right? Which one's the red moon? That's what you're seeing at the top of the screen, by the way. The phases of the moons actually affect magic in this world, and they do affect you in the game. And the different members of the different towers of sorcery have different spells attached to them, such as white mages can cast sleep, red mages can't, red mages have fireball, white mages don't. So, Solinari and Lunatari, thank you. Solinari, Lunatari, Nuatari. Um, let's see. So, we're going to do... Wait, what am I doing? Wait. Oh, because I'm not on it here. Create new character. So, currently, the name is Aloran. Actually, no. Quelvalus. Or Quell. Unless you have a different name. Because I was originally trying to stick with the original, like, theme things. What was Laurent Thalassa's, um, Lorana's brother's name? I forget what the hell his name was. So, Tannis Half Elven is one of the main characters, but his elvish Polonesti name is, um, Tanthalus. And Lorana is his adopted sla sister slash cousin or whatever. It's his cousin, right? Because they fuck. <laughs> you know, I never thought about that before in the past. Uh, <laughs> so cleric fighter mage. Which I'm thinking of like doing away with the fighter part and just being cleric mage because it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Uh... You know what? I think we're going to do cleric mage because we have... We have... Who do we have? We have Karen is a cleric. Kern is a is a knight who's basically a fighter. Brimble's a fighter thief. Aloran or not Aloran. Quelvalos would be a fighter a cleric fighter white mage? Or just a cleric mage? I'm gonna do a cleric mage. And you are going to be a cleric of Meshackal. So Meshackal is the goddess of healing. Any cleric who is devoted to Meshackal in these games gets an extra die to roll for healing. On mages, you remember the moons waxing and waning being a mechanic also. So if you have different colors, one of them will be getting boosted by the moons more likely than not. Yeah. We're going to have a white mage and a red mage. Um, Meshackal, you are going to be neutral good. Reroll stats. So we need intelligence and wisdom to be up there. We technically want... Wisdom needs to be 18, because we know what happens if we don't have 18. We get fucked over for the later um, spells. Um, I do and don't like this roll. We'll adjust this. We'll keep this. We're going to say no, and your name is going to be... Quelvalas. One of the cleric domains also gets dispel as a bonus spell, you think? I think so. I think that's Magier. Uh, let me see. It's in the book. Magier, no, Magier has silence 15 foot radius. Uh, so if you're a cleric of Paladine, you get protection from evil 10 foot radius. Magier has the ability to turn undead as if a cleric of two levels higher and gets silence 15 foot radius. Magier is the god of magic, I remember. Paladine is basically the head of the gods of good, for all intents and purposes. Kiri Jolith is a plus one to Thacko and gives detect magic. Um, Mishakal gets uh, powers, is a plus one die on all healing spells, extra spells available, or charm person, remove curse, and bless. Neutral Gods is Syrian, which gives you the ability to cast Burning Hands as a cleric. Riorix can only be worshipped by dwarves because he is a dwarven god. He gives a plus one Thacko, but only to... No, I think he can be worshipped by anyone, but he gives no benefits unless you're a dwarf. He gives a plus one to Thacko and gives no extra spells. Like, why would you pick him over Kiri Jalith, honestly? Um, and then Shanair, who I don't recognize at all, uh, gives Charm Person. 
Like, why would you choose Shanair over Meshakal? Oh, because if you're a cleric mage, you need to be neutral in order to be a red mage. I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. <clears throat> so, Bovalos is going to be a level 2, level 2 cleric white mage. And I have his as well. Hearts, head. Next, 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 next. Okay, keep. Uh, weapon, that's fine. Exit, first part. Uh, so did Final Fantasy take from that idea with the different colors, with the mages? Final Fantasy took a lot of inspiration from a lot of different places. I know D&D &D was one of them. I don't know if they took inspiration off of Dragonlance with that or not. Um, I'm not entirely certain where they ended up getting it. You might have been thinking of Detect Magic. We'll have Detect Magic, thankfully. Um, they get... Wait, Detect Magic's always prepared, I'm guessing? Because that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Body... Wait. Exit. Weapon. Oh. Next. Get a light. I had a light gray here. That one's fine. I think that's what we had, honestly. Body. So, in order to try and remember that you are the frickin' white mage, we are making you in a white outfit. Uh, keep that. Shield. Actually, shield is fine as it is. Um, arm. So the top is supposed to be a gray. Previous, this gray. Keep. And then... There's no hair. Oh, wait, hair. I think we have the hair on the one we want, actually. Yeah, we do. Exit. Second color. Um, face. So Qualen SDLs, for all intents and purposes, are basically Wood Elves. So we're making him a little bit more tanned looking. It'll help us to remember who the hell he is. Uh, weapon. Ugh. I don't think I ever tried coloring these this much. Exit. Keep it as it is. Um, body. Keep arms. Previous. Keep. And that should be who we need. So, exit. Exit. Is this icon okay? Yes, save Quelvalos. Yes, add character to party. Quelvalos. Exit. Um, we are also going to modify Quelvalos a little bit. So what we are going to do is Quelvalos is a cleric white mage. We are going to... Let's say you have an attitude. Wisdom 18. We'll drop intelligence by one point... Just because we already raised Wisdom and I feel like it's more fair, we'll keep that. Uh, add, 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 add. I don't really want to do it that way. Like, Charisma dropping it is pointless and I don't want a character that's overly strong. They don't start getting bonuses until 15. I will give Quelvalos that 15. Seems a little cheaty to do it this way. Hold on. Exit. Modify. Because I don't want them to be like, people go in here all the time and they make them super stupid strong. Add. We'll switch these two numbers. I'm going to say I'm allowed to switch the numbers, and that's it. Constitution 16. I am going to drop this down to... 15. 
to increase the strength to 16. And we're going to take the Charisma and we're going to drop it down to 11 to raise Dexterity up to 18. Because the armor class will be a lot better that way. Can clerics use... They can't use bows, can they? <laughs> Just like, like, why do you have an 18? Here, give you eight, 17 there and give you an 18 there. It'll keep you from like being like a gimped on magic later on. And we'll keep that. Uh, modify, do we need to modify Aaliyah or is she fine? I think she's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Yeah, exit. Um, and we need to add one more character. So Quentin is the last one. Quentin is our red mage. He has an 18 intelligence, 12 strength, 14 wisdom, 17 dexterity, 14 constitution, 14 charisma. Uh, you know, Kendra clerics can use the hookback, and that might be the best ranged weapon clerics can use. Doubted arrows are pointy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the... Uh, originally, my Kender was a cleric, and I chose not to do it. So, that's fine. Um, wait, what's better? A hookback or a, um... Or a bow? I'd have to look in the game. Okay. So we're gonna save current game as A. And we're gonna begin adventuring. At the end of the last home in Solus, a brave band gathers in preparation for a grim journey. The lands reconquered from the dragon armies are to be scoured of the last vestiges of evil. Joining on the trip is an older knight of the Rose. He is introduced as Sir Carl Gardson. His mission is to evaluate the outpost for the Council of Knights. Once the company is organized, you begin the journey to the outpost. The party travels through Salomnia and arrives near Throttle. You are escorted to see the Commandant. Sir Car by the way, this is the mustache is traditional to Knights of Salomnia. Sir Carl greets you at the office, and also in case the game doesn't tell you right away, the Knights of Salomnia are kind of like a dying breed. <laughs> Sir Carl greets you at the office. The Commandant and I are discussing some important issues. Your first mission is to patrol throttle and report any suspicious activities immediately. Sir Carl continues and he recorded in journal entry 51. Alright. Journal entry 51. So, what is it, darling? Oh. No. Uh, the worst monsters our scouts have reported anywhere in the area are hobgoblins. Draconians and evil dragons have long since abandoned this area to our forces. Still be a little wary on your way to throttle. I'll explain draconians in a bit. Also, be sure to report back here immediately. If anything unusual or dangerous occurs, this outpost depends on information brought back by patrols such as yours. Good luck, and may Paladine watch over you. Draconians are, think of dragon kind um, in 5th edition. They're basically dra humanoid dragon people. They were only recently found as a part of the War of the Dragon. Their existence is part of the original three books. I'll try not to go into it unless the game ends up going into it. But basically, killing them is a bitch and a half, and it carries over into this game. Also, buy and ready equipment from the armory. Memorize spells before going out. Where do you wish to go? Um, I believe the hall is basically what? The hall is where we train and everything else. So we're going to save. Exit. No. Save. Save. Save -u. A. Okay. A is my beginning one. Um, so we're also going to save as B. I am overriding all my other characters. Begin adventuring. Commandant Armory is where we go to buy our stuff. So we're going to be pooling everything. Okay. Uh, first things first. View. Items. He has plate mail, shield, and longsword. Okay. So we're going to ready this, ready this, ready this. Exit. Exit. So we're going to buy... A longsword. I don't think I bought it. Yeah. Buy a longsword. So the reason why I'm doing this, and why I now have two longswords, Draconians have a problem when you kill them. 
Their body does not typically maintain its physical condition. Most of the standard draconians turn to stone, and if they turn to stone and you fail a certain roll, your weapon gets lodged inside of that stone and can't be recovered until the end of battle, which means your character will be completely disarmed. It is smart for every melee character to be carrying around two melee weapons. Because if they kill something and their weapon gets lodged inside of a draconian's corpse, you're fucked. On top of that, draconians also have, apparently, I think... Bozak Draconi? There's different types, and I forget what the hell they are supposed to be, but one of them explodes on death. Um, and that's just all types of problems. So, view. Karen, what do you have? View. Exit. Why, why do you have, like, nothing? View. View. Exit. Exit. Does no one else have weapons of any sort? How does Kern even start with anything? It's because he's a knight, isn't it? Alright, so we're going to have to buy. Karen is a straight-up cleric. <sighs> so she needs... Okay, so you'll the first thing you'll notice... Look at how much simpler it is to purchase things in this game. Compared to the Pool of Radiance series that gave us like 50 million weapons under the sun. Um, the only thing that she can w do is, let's see, hold on. How much do we have? Pool? View. Take? 63 steel. Alright. Buy. Buy ring mail. Buy a shield. Buy a mace. Do I need two maces because they're blunt? Will the mace get stuck in a, dr a draconian? Karen has his equipment from being part of the knighthood. The rest of them have to set it up. Oh, so is this before or after Karen gets stuck in the sewers? This is a different Karen, but she feels a weird echo every now and then when she goes to sleep of, like, someone screaming help in the sewers as they die of starvation. <laughs> Can a cleric use a sling? Let's find out. Now, here, trade that to Quentin. I'm pretty sure Quentin can use a sling. I think we are in the time period where... Fuck. I don't think anyone really can use one. Hold on to it. Me just can't use slings yet. So, she has ring mail. She has armor class of four. Kern has armor class of two. Brimble, who is our fighter thief. Okay. According to our online manual stuff... I gotta find our... Remember our weapon things? I'm looking it up. So, a hoop act does two to five damage. A bow... What kind of bow do we have available to us? Bye. Short bow. A short bow does... 1 to 6. And requires... Ammo. I think we're gonna get the hookback. Because the hookback is a melee weapon and a... Okay. Buy two hookbacks, because I think you need extras. And because it's two-handed, I don't think... You can't backstab with a hookback, though, can you? Pure class mages, you have to use darts. Fuck that. <laughs> um, you want to say you can backstab with a hookback? I mean, we're going to find out. But I'm not certain if you can. Uh, leather armor is all you can wear, ever. Who can use a staff sling? Hold on. Staff sling, staff sling. Staff sling can be used by fighters and clerics. It does more damage than a hookback. Are you fucking kidding me?
It has no melee damage, that's the thing. Yeah, it does 2 to 8 damage. Um, but it can't be used in melee. A hookback is used in melee or in with long range. Few items. Ready that, ready that. Your armor class is four, that's pretty good. I mean, because you have disgusting... Okay, what are you? You're a cleric ranger. Can you use a bow? Short bows, probably not. Fighters and thieves. What the fuck, what do you mean fighters and thieves? Maybe it means she can use it? Bye. Short bow. Few items, I swear to God. Oh, Aaliyah can use a short bow. Take, how much money do we have? 36, okay. Buy 20 arrows, 20 arrows, 20 arrows, 20 arrows, 20 arrows, hold on. Um, what are you, your cleric ranger? What What's the best armor you can wear? Is it ring mail? Is it leather? I don't know what a ranger can wear. I'm hoping it's ring mail. I'm trying to find it. Maximum level limits by race. Ugh. Maximum level limits. Why? I'm hoping I thought out this character, these character combos pretty well. Okay. Uh, maximum armor for clerics is... Armor list. Ring. Clerics can wear any armor. Rangers can wear any armor. So we can put her in ring mail. Okay, so items. Can we stack these? Ready? Exit. Exit. Um, buy. Can you use a longsword? Few items. Ready. Red. Yes. You can use longsword. Somehow. Can you dual wield? Already using. How do you stack things? How did we stack before? Leah Quovalos. Cleric White Mage. So, I'm pretty sure you cannot use the... Staff. Oh no, Claire can use the staff sling. So, hold on. View items. Trade that to Quovalos. Exit. View items. Can't use it. Bye. What do I give a cleric mage? You don't think ranger has an armor type restriction? I can give the staff sling for long range. But if I remember, I can't give him any armor because then he can't cast any of his mage spells. Oh, try join. Ah, thank you. Um, I also, I remember I used to do this. I used to do trade, select. <gasps> it's not doing it. It's putting it at the bottom. So trade, select, trade, must be unready. Trade, select. And I used to do like, shit. So it just moves them down. So I would do... I want long sword to be in the front. Followed by short sword, followed by that, and then arrows. And that's how I would organize everything. 
Except I should be ready him out, I should ready that. Um Quelvelos Staff Sling. Sell this. I'll give you zero pieces. Take your sling back. I'll give you nothing. So we dumping a lot of money in this one, basically. At least in the beginning. Bye. I think we just want him on the staff sling. Buy a mace in case you have to. Exit. Quinton. Bye. Quarterstaff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough money. We're out of money. Here. Join. Ready that. Where's our money? We have no money left. There's no money left. Phew. <laughs> items. Okay. Exit. View. Items. We have two long swords. We're okay there. Exit. View. Items. You don't start with a lot yet. Well, it doesn't help that we had a fucking... Here. Okay. No, that's fine. Brimble. Aaliyah. View. Items. We already organized her stuff. Quavalos is gonna be as organized as possible. Uh... Trade, select, there. Here, we'll put that on first. Because I do melee weapon, long range, armor. Uh, view items. So we'll do trade, select, exit. Trade, select, there. So we do right, eh. and Kern. Because if I don't have these in a certain order that makes sense for me, I just lose track of where everything is. So, Lady Longsword, Shield, and Plate Mail. Alright, exit, exit. We have no money left. Okay, so here's the other thing with the Knights of Salomnia. Money also has its own weight in these games. Yeah, we, we very much know from pil the Pools of Radiance. The other thing uh, um, is that the Knights, of S the Knights, if you have a Knight in your party, they tithe to every outpost they enter. And their tithe is based upon what order of the knighthood they are. So Kern is at the lowest order that possibly can be in. Welcome, we have plenty of space for you at the inn. We are going to save. B. With the DOS, absolutely not. Uh, magic. We need to prep people, don't we? Who the fuck has magic? Karen has magic. Leah, Quelphalus, and Quentin. Holy shit, we have a lot of spellcasters in this. Memorize. Okay. Cleric spells. Get detect magic anyways. Cure light wounds, cure light wounds. Bless, detect magic. I get it. Memorize these spells, yes. Brimble, memorize. Wait. Br oh, Brimble can't memorize. What am I doing? Aaliyah, memorize. Three cleric spells, one special spell. So your detect magic, cure light wounds, cure light wounds. Bless. Exit. Exit. Yes, because I want Quelvalos to have most of the healing spells. Because Quelvalos as a cleric of Meshackle means better healing. Oh my god. Look at all the spells Quelvalos gets. Holy shit. All right, bless, charm person. Still have more special ones or no? Um, cure light wounds, cure light wounds, cure light wounds. Fuck it, cure light wounds. Uh, magic user spells. That's all we get, magic missile, magic missile, special spells. I guess we get to learn one more. Remove curse. Wait, how do we go down to... Oh, we had to hit next. <gasps> Sleep. 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 Exit. We want lots of sleep. Holy shit. Oh my god. Kind of wish you thought of this when you played these. You never bothered to try to organize character inventories. Yeah, I started doing it in... Secret of the Silver Blades, I think. 
because it was starting to drive me nuts trying to keep track of everything. The special spells are from the domain. You can always just memorize all of those. Yeah. So exit, memorize these spells. Yes, Quentin. Our poor little mage, a red mage. So, magic missile, magic missile, sleep, sleep, exit, exit, spells, yes, rest, six hours, rest. Quinton has eight hit points. Sounds about right. Aaliyah has 20. Why is Kern so low? What? What did I do wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is a knight's hit point dice? What is a knight's hit point dice? I think I I think I Leora'd our knight. <laughs> our fucking knight. <laughs> He's level one. Hold on. Constitution 16 gives plus two hit points. So he has a plus two. Um, where's his where's his hit points? Knights. They get two D ten. Plus two. <laughs> Fuck. Man's been skipping breakfast for 20 years. Shit. <laughs> this is not good. You know. <laughs> oh, he's got 12 hit points and he had a potential of having 22. Oh, shit. Where do you wish to go? Okay. So we're going to go to the Commandant. I have no more specific information. I have every confidence in you. Remember to port back. Where are we going again? Hall. What journal entry was it? Man. He wanted us to just find out find out if there's I guess we're just adventuring around and looking for signs of horribleness. Next. Vault? <gasps> we can leave stuff in the vault, guys. Temple. Heal, view, pool, and appraise. Uh, next. Bar. What's your pleasure? Have a drink, relax. You hear Tavern Tale 40. <laughs> Tavern Tale 40. Don't drink the beer. The bartender washes his feet in it. What's your pleasure? We're leaving. Where do you wish to go? I guess we're leaving. You're near an outpost. You enter. No. Okay, so we are the little yellow square in the top left corner of the screen. That's us. <laughs> okay. Um, well, there's an area just north of us, so let's move. As you atop a rise, you spot a caravan under attack. Draconians have already massacred the men and are now slaughtering the women and children. They pause when they see you, then rush to attack. Goody. A battle begins. Um, exit. We want to do... What is it? Aim? Manual? To see where the hell they are. I'm assuming they're up here somewhere. There they are. So they are Baz Draconians. Which I think are our standard ones that turn into... Actually, you know what? The manual has monsters listed in it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find Boz Draconians. Here they are. Uh, Boz. Made from brass dragon eggs. Oh, well, I screwed that up. Never mind. Now you know what they're made from. Um, they are the most common of the Draconians. When killed, Boz will turn to stone and then crumble into a pile of rubble. The weapon used to slay a boss will sometimes be trapped in its crumbling stone corpse and pulled from a character's hand. If a weapon is lost, it is automatically retrieved after combat is completed unless the party fled. Don't flee. I mean, honestly, we've never really fled. Um, you have a short bow. 
few items. Ready your arrows. Can we do aim manual? Can you shoot them? I think the trees are going to be in our way. All right. Uh, let's move. Done. Aim manual. You're too freaking far away. There we go. Target. One damage. I just remembered something. Done. Speed. Slower. Exit. Because we moved too fast. I forgot about that. Um, exit. Move. Nope. No, don't attack the ally. This is my freaking mage. Done. Cast. Magic missile. Manual target. I don't know if I can hit from here. Well, we just lost a spell. I think we need to remember that we need to know what our um, distance is for shit. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Move. Aim. Manual. There we go. Damn it. Look, it's Karen! <laughs> Karen looks almost identical to what's his name. I need to change Karen's uh, outfit. Um, she has her mace. She's just done. Guard. That way, if one comes up to her, she can smack them in the face or something. At least he has plate mail. Him and his 12 hit points, at least he has plate mail. Oh shit, one's in front of us. Wait, exit. Exit. Do you have more movement? Six. Move. Wait. You don't do melee. That's alright. Aim. Manual, what the fuck am I doing? Okay. Okay. We don't do very well here. I feel like my party is not as well put together as I originally was hoping it was gonna be, but this will be interesting. Oh no. I didn't even see who got hit. Speed. Go slow. <laughs> Hook back, go. Oh shit. You have a short bow. Aim. So you have 13 hit points, 15. Kern's at 12 still. Quovalos is at 16. You have five. Eh. Can someone hit? Can I move you away without any problems? Yes. Tax of opportunity were not much of a thing, thank God. I think it was supposed to be a thing. I think something else happened. Okay, cast. What am I gonna have you cast? <laughs> Fucking hell. We're gonna be sleeping after this. I swear to God. Sleep. Manual. Target. That one's asleep. Don't put Kern to sleep. Ah, oh, fucking hell. No, the party's perfect. It's at its best. <laughs> My frontline fighter just took a nap on the battlefield. <laughs> and then went down. <laughs> this is going great. This is why you carry extra weapons. In case you missed it, Karen just took down the one draconian by hitting it with her mace. And lost her weapon as it got stuck inside the, st the stone body of the Draconian. Cast. Fucking hell. Aim manual. How's everyone doing? You have 11 hit points now. For fuck's sakes. Um, exit. Cast. Magic missile. Sure. You, you do 1d4 plus 1 points of damage right now. All 
Are Baz Draconians magic resistant? Because that missile did nothing. Fuck. Cast. Cure light wounds. Manual. Grimble's fully healed. Alright. You know what? Fuck it, y'all. That Baz wants to kill Brimble. So does that one. Well, this is not doing very well. Cast. Sleep. This goes well. Go ahead, Quentin. Kill someone else in your party. <laughs> okay, one fell asleep. Put the other one to sleep. Shit. Aim. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> oh wait, our teammate's dying. We forgot about that, didn't we? Done. Bandage. <laughs> Kurt is bandaged. Hey, two hit points of damage. Hit it. Fucking hell, all of you. We're just missing every five seconds. Few items. Ready your darts. You ready to throw some darts around the field? Manual. I don't even remember what his dexterity is. Probably should look at that. Brimble just took four points of damage. How are you doing, Brimble? You're at eight. It's okay. You have a fucking cleric next to you. You can have another cleric next to you right now if I just do this. Whoa. Aim manual. You only have three hit points. God, fucking damn it. You said shit. Hit it. You know what? Hold on. Never mind. I was gonna look at Quentin's ability, like, stats. Because I kind of forgot what they were. Okay. View. He's got a dexterity of 17. That's pretty good. Aim. I'm sure you'll miss. <laughs> My party's not doing very good. This is only four draconians. I want to point out that the only reason my knight is down is because my red mage doesn't know how to calm his tits with sleep spells. Doesn't that mean that Kern also gets no experience from this fight? Move. You are the cleric of Meshackle. Fucking cast. Goddamn cure light wounds. And target poor Kern. He's fully healed. Continue battle? No. Party's won. Each character receives 130 experience points, except probably Kern. <laughs> uh, take 20 steel. Sure. How much steel will you take? 20. Wait a minute. View. Trade. Don't give it to the Kender. They'll never give it back. Select. How much steel? 20. Now... When the knight tithes, do they give money from collectively from everyone and take from everyone's pockets, or is it only what's in their pocket? Because in that case, we just need to give, like, a coin or two. It's only just from his own wallet. We'll give him one steal so he doesn't feel bad. <laughs> Eventually. Exit. The caravan lies in waste before you. The air is filled with the sounds of wailing women and children. All of the Draconians are slain, save one, who rips a book from a dead man's hands. He turns to you and merely laughs, then he takes a step and disappears. One of the surviving women comes up. Brave warriors, will you help us reach the outpost? All of our menfolk have died. Do you help? No. <laughs> I swear we'd probably be stripped of our knighthood if we were to say no. Thank you for your help. Congratulations, the party gained experience. Thank God. Oh no, it's a potato. Look here. This is the Champions of Kryn. Kern gives his tithe in the knighthood. There, you had no money. So what did you tithe? Good wishes and intentions? Where do you wish to go? The inn. Welcome, we have plenty of space for you. Damn straight you do. Okay, so we're gonna do... Do I have to redo everyone's spells every single time yet again? Memorize. Yes, we do. Cure light wounds. Exit. Oh, it's not as bad as before. Yes. Memorize. 
So it remembers what we had. Quovalos. You have... Cleric spell, you used a Cure Light Wounds. Did you get one of your bonus spells? How do I see what my bonus spells are? Oh, this is all my spells. Uh... Memorize, because honestly, sleep works better at the moment. Memorize these spells, yes. Quentin! Exit. Yes. And then we will rest for 4 hours, 45 minutes. Rest. Is this... are you gonna actually heal people? Because Brimble didn't get anything. Rest. Wait. Where the fuck is my resting? Oh, cast. We just need to use cast here. Cast, cure light wounds. I forgot this is, doesn't do that naturally. Did you just roll like the lowest you potentially could? Fucking god, memorize. Kill I wounds, kill I wounds. Exit, exit. Memorize these spells. Yes. This is why we needed to rest, but we needed to do this beforehand. I forgot about this. Oh my god. Were, the, were they as strong as had current... What? Mickey, I don't know what you're saying. We're they has strong had current lol. Wow. <laughs> you don't remember being part of the last heist, but you clearly was. Good job. Exit. Where do you wish to go? Oh wait, fix was the command we wanted. I just saw it. Uh, we're gonna go to the commandant. You enter the office to the sounds of battle. Sir Carl drives his sword through the commandant who collapses. The body then rides and becomes a civac. What is a civac? Civac are draconians. They're created from silver dragon eggs and they're the only draconians that can truly fly. Civacs are shapeshifters. They're powerful fighters who get three attacks per combat round. Ew. Ignore that you were typing to someone else and the message got crossed. Oh, okay. Uh, I was afraid of this. As you report, his face grows gray. This is much worse than we feared. We have a patrol in Throttle. Karaman leads it. Karaman's one of the original heroes of the Lance, from the books. Uh, find him. Tell him he is desperately needed here. The imposter has emptied this outpost of troops. I know you are inexperienced, but I have no one else to send. So we need to go to Throttle and find Karaman, who is leading one of the commands. So Karaman was a warrior fighter, for all intents and purposes. He's a human warrior who has basically like an 18 strength. He's like incredibly strong, not intelligent at all. His twin brother is Raislin, who was incredibly, incredibly powerful as a mage, um, but also incredibly physically weak. Um, as part of which was, story-wise, Raislin was physically weak due to issues that happened as a result of his taking the test of high sorcery to become a member of the Red Robes. Where do you wish to go? We are leaving... You're near an outpost. You entered? No. We are going to exit and camp. Save. B. Good to DOS. No. Exit. Move. So we're just south of Throttle, which means that little dot is Throttle. I know that also because I've already played the game for the first part, and Throttle was the first part. You are near Throttle. Do you enter? Yes. Okay. Throttle's off limits to you. Leave and no one gets hurt. What do you do? Well... You look totally reasonable. I'm totally not going to attack you. A battle begins. Holy shit! Cast. Sleep. Uh, sleep is what? A 3x3 three three area? Let me check. I don't remember if spells are in the manual or if they're in... They're in the manual. So, area effect. First level spells for mages are. But, 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 uh, sleep is a. Range is 3 plus level. Oh, area is 1 to 16. Oh. So, it's a 4 by 4? Four? 
Like, that's potentially problematic. I'm trying to think. Wow, animation of the picture. <laughs> Manual. Should it hit all of them? It says 1 to 16. I don't know what that means. We're gonna try it this way. Okay, so we have 2 asleep. 3. 4. 5. Oh, I should have had Quelvalus cast sleep. Leah. Um, aim manual. Don't let them wake up. Um, move. Kill that one. Karen! That one's awake. So this one's asleep. This one's asleep. That's it. Hit this one. Nope. Shit. Uh, so Kern, we're gonna aim for the one that's just north of him. Hey! At least they're all missing right now. We all, all of my frontline fighters, for the most part, have decent armor class, I think? Sleep plus a coup de gras is the king of low-level D D. Yeah, except they weren't called coup de gras in this edition. Coup de gras was introduced in third edition. Um, who is going right now? It's Aaliyah. Manual. Kill. Wait. Yeah. Aim. Manual. Why can't you hit anything? Oh, because you're threatened. Fuck. Long sword time. Shit. Kern just took five hit points, which is basically current half of Kern's life. Cast. Cure light wounds. Oh, here we go. Cast. Sleep again. Manual. Um, you're helpless. I wonder... Okay, so we get three... I think it's a three by three. I think the area of effect is three by three, but I think hit dice is different. Uh, so it says sleep. Can be cast in combat. Range is three plus level. Area of effect is one to sixteen. Why does it say area one? It's really stupid. So it's not necessarily three by three. It's just within a range. That's so really dumb. Because if I cast it here, I have the chance of getting this one, this one, this one, and this one. But I also have a chance of getting Karen. Do it over here. The warriors are more of a threat. Because these are just hobgoblins. There's hobgoblin leaders and then there's hobgoblins. But the warriors are the most threat. If I do it here, I have a chance of four of them. Do it here. Warrior falls asleep. Put the other warrior. Yes! Hobgoblin leaders asleep. Damn it. Uh, do- Fucking hell. Kill him. Okay, manual target. Wait. You were gonna cast Cure Light Wounds on who? Fuck. No one's damaged. What the hell was I thinking of? 
I'm not doing very well on thinking on this right now. Here, kill you before any of them wake up. <gasps> Brimble. Shit. Um. Just move out of the way. Ow. Uh, move. T aim manual. Oh, because you have your sword on. That's right. View items. Here, put your sword away. Bring out your short bow. Aim manual. There. Goblin leader dead. Uh, cast magic missile. Four points! Kills the Hobgoblin. Karen. Emmanuel, because I'm trying to see who the hell. This one. Three damage, that's not good enough. I did not mean to do that, but that works. What is going on with this? Th thanks for the commercial. We'll put it back in a second. It decided to be all like, oh, you just have to listen to the small ad. By the way, Pepsi. Hi, ads. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, I'll have to figure out something. Um, aim manual. Oh, because you have a staff sling. What is your Thacko? 20? Ugh. Eh, you hit 20. There. You hit for 12. Aim manual. Hit that one before it wakes up. I like that you can still use a hook back for um, long range combat, even in melee. That's nice. So it, it kind of gives like a reason for it. Throw a dart. Nothing. Ay, Quovalus just took a whole bunch of damage. Oh, and that's right. The whole thing with, um, casters. If you get hit during it before, like, during your turn or before your, before your turn, you can't cast spells. So Quovalus cannot cast healing. Um. View. You, you have an armor class of four. Why did I move you out of there? Because I was trying to do long range attacks. Exit. Hold on. Aim. Manual. There. Kill that one. Now Brimble's okay. Uh, aim. Manual. Damn it. Karen. Cast. Cure Light Wounds. We are going through our spells like crazy right now. Manual. Target. Bovalus is partially healed. Fucking hell. Brimble. I should have tried moving him in the back. Quelvalus. Cat. Wait. What is Quelvalus's hit points? 16? Cast. Cure light wounds on yourself. Get a chance to. Aim. Manual. Two damage. Target yourself. Partially healed. How did you do partial healing with your abilities? Uh, da, 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 da. Cherubeth having issues from, like, being sick and trying to be comfortable. Sucks. You think the 1 to 16 is supposed to be hit dice, which doesn't make a lot of sense for area of effect, but you just work here? <laughs> I was thinking that, too. It seems like it's just hit dice, and it's just, ugh. Here, move, here, here. Fuck. The warrior surrendered! Hey! You don't get to surrender! Die! <laughs> they surrendered, but we're all like, no! Continue battle now. Each character receives 146 experience points. Take. Holy shit. Alright. 
We we know the drill. Detect. Take. And probably nothing is magical. They have broadswords though. And ring mail. Okay, hold on. Broadsword versus longsword. I seem to remember that being thing. So broadsword is two to eight. Longsword is one to eight. So, just take broadswords. Take. Take. There's scale mail. Ring mail versus scale mail. Scale is better than ring mail by one armor class. So, view item. So, you're going to take scale mail. What are you at three now? As opposed to what were you for? Yeah, you were four before. Items. So. Technically, we we're supposed to do this, and we were supposed to do a mace, shield, scale mail, ring mail, which is the one we want to get rid of. All right. We never organized hers. Uh, you can never use anything better than leather armor. Aaliyah can use scale mail and can definitely use a broadsword, I think. Take. So take broadsword, broadsword, scale mail. A few items. Yes. So you're going to be doing longsword trade to yourself. No, exit. Trade to yourself. Uh, scale mail. Trade to yourself. Actually, no. It's supposed to be short bow. Trade to yourself. Scale mail. Trade to yourself. Arrows. Must be unreadied. Arrows. Trade to yourself. So broadsword is first. Scale mail. Arrows. Can you trade this, this, this? So everything at the top is all the stuff that we want to keep. Exit. And you now have an armor class of three. Quelvalus cannot wear any armor if you want to keep your mage abilities. You still treasure left. You want to go back and claim your treasure? Yes, because I forgot. Take. Uh, ring mail. So we're basically going to pick up the scale mail and the ring mail. So here, grab the ring mail, ring mail, ring mail. Because we need money, and this is uh, this is the best way for us to start. Take ring mail, ring mail, ring mail. Take. Scale mail, ring mail, ring mail, ring mail, ring mail. Oh wait, now you're overloaded. Take. My god, look at all this shit. Now you're overloaded. Take. Ring mail, broadsword, 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 broadsword. I know we just got here. But we're gonna head back right now. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? Yes. Hold on. Pool. Take. Money. Select. How do you do the pool and distribute evenly? I forget how to do that one. Pool. Share. There we go. Exit. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? No. All right. So, just so we know, we're facing north. Um, our first map is going to be Throttle, so we're going to call it Throttle. And we're saying that our entrance is right, I don't know, here. We'll fix it later. Um, 
And there's just openings east and west. In all directions. Um, and we're gonna sit there and we're gonna say, Boop. That's the exit right there. Which... Right there. I probably should move that to an edge. Like there. Because it's a little easier for us to do. And we're going to do save. And I am going to save over the original one that I had done. Which is right here. <laughs> Say goodbye, champ original champions of Kryn. I don't remember what the layout is for this one. But there's a layout. And I know that. So we will have to work together on making sure that we are south. Exit. Let's go. You're near throttle. Do you enter? No. You're near an outpost. Do you enter? Yes. Kern gives his tithe to the knighthood. Where do you wish to go? Well... Previous. We're going to the armory. View. Items. Sell. Six steel pieces for a broadsword. Wait, no. He wants his broadswords. Wait, this is Quentin. It's fine. Sell. Yes. Sell. 20 steel pieces for scale mouth. Alright. Exit. Items. Wait. Exit. Exit. Buy. You want a lot of these. So we can buy diamonds, which are worth 500 steel. Here. Join. Not a lot. Bye. More. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did that save have a better kern? Yes. It didn't even have a kern, it had a stern. But stern was too close to Sturm, and I didn't want to do that. Sturm is uh, the actual Salomnic Knight from the original Dragonland series, and I didn't want a character that was basically like name too close to it. And I made Izzik ch pick this one, and I just realized how close Kern is to Sturm. At least he doesn't have a last name called Brightblade. <laughs> like, here. So, view, items. Okay. So, we're gonna do unready that. Unready that, unready that. Here, sell this. Give three pieces for that. Yes. Sell that. Zero steel pieces. So they're doing the same thing as they did before. Where, um... The more you sell of the same thing, the less they'll give it to you. Because eventually they're overwhelmed with it. Five steel pieces for ringmail. So ringmail's, like, costing very little. Here. Ringmail, five. It's fine. Yeah, ready that. Ready that. Ready that. Alright. So, damage is 2d4 plus five. Nice. Exit. Karen, view items, sell, force. I think ring mail is just four, period, for us. That's fine. Wait. Why was that one 17? What? Oh, ring mail 17. Scale mail's 20. I'm not paying attention to things or something. Broadsword, broadsword, short sword, ring mail, sell. Four pieces of steel. Yeah, C4. Longsword, three. Longsword, three. 17. We're gonna end up with so much money in this compared, like, with the same ones. I have the feeling where the economy is fucked yet again. Or rather, it's doing very, very well thanks to the generous, like, donations of our own party. Broadsword, 6. Maybe they just don't like elves. I remember that there's a lot of, like, racial tensions within the Dragonlance world. For instance, like, Tannis is a half-elven character. His literal last name is half-elven, but I don't think that's his actual last name. It's just the name he took for himself. Um, but half-elves are kind of looked down on by both of them, and they're considered, like, alien to both humans and elves. 
because humans don't want to deal with them and they can't ever fully exist alongside humans because of their long life. And so any human that they would try and live close to or be close to, would they would just end up watching die. Um, and it's the same, and it's kind of like the vice versa for the elves, is elves don't like dealing with the half-elves. So Tannis was kind of sort of like pushed off by his elven family, considering that was the only side of the family that was really alive and around in the books. He actually has a headband around his head, which you see the feathers hanging out of. He has the headband with the intention of it covers the tips of his ears so that he can pass as a human walking through hum walking through human territories. And he also grew a beard because elves can't grow beards. And the, like him having a beard hid his elven heritage even further. Uh, you're fine. Brimble. Or did I put it? Yes, I did. Okay. Exit. Where do you wish to go? Uh, the inn. Welcome, we have plenty of space for you. Fix us. Magic memorize. So do a detect and cure. Memorize those. Yes. Brimble. Aaliyah. Nothing. Quobolus did what? To cure light wounds? Yes. Quentin. Magic user spells. Sleep. Memorize. Exit. Exit. Memorize these spells. Yes. Quentin cast two sleep spells. And he can only memorize one. Is that because Lunatari is waning? Shit. I think he has less spell slots because the Red Moon is in is waning. Save. B. With the DOS now. Exit. Where do you wish to go? We're leaving? Because we're going back. You want to enter? No. You're near throttle. Do you enter? Yes. Alright. Exit and camp. Save. C. With the DOS now. Um, 21 steel. 47 steel. 74. 30. 57. 19. I think everyone's encumbrance is low, but what we're going to do is we're going to say view. Wait. View. Items. How do we just pool it? Can we not do it right now? Camp. Like, why can't you just... Pool your stuff right now. Huh? Huh? Whatever. So we're gonna go... Move. Wait, exit. Search while we're doing it. It takes us longer. Ten minutes per square, but... One, two, north. Monsters attack, that's fine. We have that. Is it better if I zoom in that much for you guys? Monsters attack. Of course they attack. <clears throat> really? Aim and attack. Throw it. I don't want to deal with the leaders. 12 loss. Get your base out. Put on your staff sling. Wait a minute. Items. The fuck? Why didn't I give him scale mail? Wait a minute. He's not supposed to be in any mail. Hold on. Yeah. Don't put him in any armor. Aim. Yeah, this one. God damn it. Karen. There you go. She killed one. I'm so proud of Karen. Oh my fucking god. I will say that Kern hits really hard. Um. Put the broadsword away. Bring out the short bow. Hit that one. There we go. 
Hey, Brimble. Move here. And aim manual. Why? A manual. There. Kill that hobgoblin. Brimble! Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking go. Brimble's not doing well. Ugh. A manual. Can we not have. I need to get... A move. I need to get Quelvalos over to Brimble. Five damage. Ooh, eight! Uh, Quelvalos is not gonna get over there. But you might be able to take him out. Brimble's okay. Okay, we're fine. Sort of. Move? You, like, did almost nothing. Quit. Continue battle now. Parties one each character receives 31 experience. Uh, so we're gonna pool and then share. Take. So there's more scale mail in there. But I, I think I determined I wasn't going to use it because I thought. Take. Give it to Kern because Kern has the stronger. Um, it has better strength. Take the scale mail. That's the only thing worth taking, I think. I mean, we could detect magic. But. They're bare basic hobgoblins. You think they have enchanted weapons? I doubt it. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? No. Exit view. Okay. So we're going to do... Karen's going to cast Cure Light Wounds on herself. She healed herself for one. Cure Light Wounds on Brimble. Cure Light Wounds again on Kern. Aaliyah. Cure Light Wounds on Karen, I guess. Fucking god. I feel like a lot of our healing spells are just shit right now. Save. See. Quit the DOS. No. Exit. Okay. So, moving... Hold on. Stop searching. Moving. It's literally two, right? One, two? Yeah. I'm gonna go east. What? A hobgoblin growls. What? More of them? I thought the plan was a secret. What do you do? Parlay? Shouldn't we pick who we're parlaying with? Kern has the highest charisma. Parlay. Hobgoblin snorts in derision. Yeah, that didn't go well. Oh, there's a lot of them. Cast. Wait. Uh, aim. Manual. One, two, three, four. I need to cast he Ooh, here. Which means... One, two, three, four. I think I need to be right here. Like here. It's three plus, hold on. Three plus level, so five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we need to be right here. Unless you count from your space, I don't remember. Cast, sleep. Nope, it works here. Too many hobgoblins to deal with. I, 
love this staff sling concept. It's like Leora would have been better off with it. We had her dealing with like a sling and it took us forever to get her to have a magic one. Fuck it, y'all. Oh, goody, the one in front of him. That one wants to kill Brimble, too. Everyone fucking hates Clara and Kender. <laughs> A manual. We have to aim for these guys. Before they wake up. Yeah. Yeah, see that they're going after Kern instead of Brimble, even though they got affected by that. That's like, whatever, do it. Kill that one. That's a leader. The bl the dark blue skirts are hobgoblin leaders. I've noticed that's the difference. She moves really quick. A manual. Yeah, the darts don't get thrown very far. There. A manual. Six. My one thing with Brimble is I don't think he has a really high strength, so... Sleep is the king of the gold box games, I swear to god. <laughs> like, we've just decimated them. God. <laughs> Not with that weapon. Oh, you got a staff sling. Shit, what did I do this for? It's fine. Here, you're better off ranged anyways. How many how many short range characters do I actually have? Kern. Technically Kern. You love the death explosions? Yeah, the old-fashioned death explosions. I kind of miss the screams that you got from the slightly upgraded version of the Gold Box games. I don't think we see that in the Kryn series until the last one. And if I go through all of them and we get to the Dark Queen of Kryn, um, I think that one may be as pointless to go through as uh, Pools of Darkness, but we'll find out. Um, exit. Done. Quit. Done. Quit. Done. Quit. Did he battle? No. 56 experience for everyone. Take. It's just all of the same. Karen, detect. Nothing. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? No. Um. We went through the east door. South is two. So we're gonna do one, two, three. So it's a three by two room. With like nothing in it. Just exit, stop searching, move. Should we go west? Search, move, go west. This area is littered with the decaying bodies of soldiers. Creatures rise out of the remains. What do you do? Attack. Because experience. I swear to God, if they, there's skeletons? Okie dokie. They don't... Brimble sweeps! Wow, sweep comes early. Giant rats with two hit points. Uh. Oh, it stabbed um Kern. Maybe it should have just named Kern Dirk. Rat Jam, Rat Jam, Rat Jam. Rat Jam's gone! Brimble just got hit for two. Kern's at six, Brimble's at ten. ten. 
Um, cast. Cure Light Wounds. Kern is fully healed at back to 12. We are going to save, save scum the hell out of Kern's level up. Like, we need Kern's max, max hit dice for him to be recovered. Um, turn. Ugh. Aren't you also a cleric? You are. Turn. Leah turns the undead. Oh, nothing happens. Fucking hell. Okay. Move. Sweeping doesn't happen because they're not all together. Move. Rimble sweeps. Hit the other rat. Damn it. Uh, move. Turn. Quelvalus turns. Skeletons turned. Skeletons turned. Oh, it's killing them! Oh, thank god. Uh, aim manual. They're not worth using a magic missile on because of how weak they are. A single dart will kill them. Like, my red mage is, like, hitting them twice. But why, though? Why is Rat Jam back? I have no idea. It's sad. Oh, you know what? Paladins can't sweep. Well, that sucks. Rat giant rats have very low HP, thankfully. Brimble sweeps. Hit both of them. God damn it, Brimble. Twelve less attacks with a fat quit. Done quit. Done quit. Done quit. Continue battle net. Parties one each character receives fifteen experience points. I think it's because we turn the skeletons. Because we turn the skeletons, we don't get anything off of them. It's fucking shit, is what it is. So north is nothing. I have a feeling this is going to be another three by two room. So we're going to be like, boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Uh, so one, two, three, yep. Monsters attack. I'm going to actually put a thing over here. Bodies. So there's bodies of soldiers in here. Okay. Oh no! Giant centipedes. Shit. Don't those potentially kill you in one hit? They have two hit points. I think they have a poison that potentially can kill you in one hit. Let's take them out. Um, uh, you get your mace off, get your staff sling back. Aim, manual. There we go. That helps. Karen! Fuck. Okay. Good job, Kern. They got 20 HP, guess not what? No, they have two. Uh, they, 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 and, uh, they thankfully have two. Aim manual. If I can get Brimble free, we can get Brimble over here to sweep. Backstabs. Okay, hook back works for a backstab. That's good. Aim, manual, hit that. Yes! Okay, all centipedes dead, thank god. All I remember is in the past, like, the centipedes having a chance for an instant kill. What the fuck? Why is my red mage doing the most? There. Now there's protection with Kern in front. Just in case. Probably should have bought more arrows while we're back in town. Move. 
Aim manual. There we go. Boom. Done. Quit. Any battle? No. Each character receives 31. Exit. Uh, Karen. Exit. Cast. No. Karen. Cast. Cure light wounds on yourself. Partially healed. You did one hit point again. I'm low key disappointed in her. Brimble. Partially healed. Three hit points. Yeah, save. See, I don't trust this party to live. <laughs> Exit. Move. Get out of here. Alright. Going north. A man gibbering with fear stumbles into view. He cries out in anguish. Caramon, where are you? Look out above you, it's a trap! You record the rest of his speech as journal entry 38. Hold on. Journal entry 38. They're back. They're they're back. Back there. Who look out? No, no, no. I stabbed one, but it took my sword. I couldn't get it out of its body. Caramon, he's talking about draconians. His eyes clear for a moment and he becomes more lucid. Listen to me, he says. They've captured Caramon. Most of our party has been wiped out. He suddenly jerks about. What's that? Get them. They've got Caramon. Find him. I'll find him. North, nor north, north, and west and south. Traps. Back up. Go back now. Quiet. 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 Look out above you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why is he? Why is he a mess? <laughs> Karen can't even heal herself. She wants to speak to the manager. He gets a sly, slightly and conspiratorial look on his face. I saw a money chest in a room to the east. I'm gonna get it, and I'm set. He looks around and leans towards you. You want to help? Huh? What do you say? The terrorized look comes back. He screams and gasps in terror. What is wrong with him? Okay. So. To the west, there's that. It looks like it's just one more north. One, two. All right. Um, we're going to go through the store. Sweet. That's really weird, but okay. Is there anything here? No. One, two, three, north. What was that journal entry anyways? What was the journal entry 38? J38. Traps and treasure. That's what, I'm, what is it actually called? It's just called Journal Entry 38. But it, it was referencing traps and treasure, so I'm going to put it there. I'm going to just say J38 like that. Like, is it a capital J? That's a capital J, really? That's really weird. Um... Exit and camp, save, C, put the DOS, no, exit. Move. So, one, two, and then west. I have a feeling it's two more. One, two, yep. Ooh, a door. That goes to, like, nothing. Okay. Uh, hold on. We want to pick it. Monsters attack. Shit. I wasn't picking the right character. Holy crap. View items. Uh, short bow away, long sword on. Turn? 
Okay. Skeletons are getting turned. Ow. A few items. Put that away, get that on. What's your strength? 12? Oh, goody. Oh, shit. He sweeps. Yes! Both of them dead. Good job, Brimble. Uh, you have a staff sling on. View items. Get that off. Put on your mace. Move this way. I suppose I could just put on the ringmail when I know I'm not going to be casting spells and then just take it off. Because I think you can, for some reason, just equip and unequip armor in a split second in combat in this game. Because game mechanics. <laughs> just like, what do you want from them? We're just missing everything. Oh, they're fleeing in panic. Karen, kill it. Yes. Karen's all like, not on my watch. <laughs> Are you guys all... It's flea! Someone... Okay, goodbye, rat. Uh, oh, it's in a corner. Use the hook back. Missed. Exit. Wait a minute. Why is your movement already six? Is it because you're in scale mail? Shit. Done. Guard. Uh, view item. Take that off. Put that back on. Move up here. Done. Aim. Manual. <clears throat> Rats fleeing in panic into a corner. Done. Quit. Just forget it. View item. Put the broadsword away. Get the short bow back out. Done. Quit. I'm not going to have you waste your time. Move. Done, quit. Aim manual. Come on. There we go. Dead. Thank God, we're the villains now. What, just beating things up? You think you could flee? <laughs> the rat had four turtles to feed. Look here. I don't give a shit. It's a giant rat that came out of nowhere that decided to nom on our ankles. Do you know who's in the corner of this room very quietly curled up? It's a boy D. Continue battle. No. Each character receives 18 experience points and nothing else because they're rats. Um, exit. Brimble. Move. This way. Pick the lock. A cleric is opening a chest his undead minions attack. A cleric? I swear to god if he has... Aim manual. Let me see where they are. Where is he? He's got 12 hit points. I doubt he has hold person. Not taking chances with this shit. Move. One, two, three, four. Okay. Exit. Cast. I don't have sleep. Guess we're throwing our only magic missile at the cleric. Oh, yay. Two points of damage. Whoopee. Turn. Nothing happens. Fucking undead minions. Turn. We're <laughs> just turning all the. Buddy, dee 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 dee. He is in the corner. He's my baby kitty. Five hit points. Fucky Halkern. I swear that Quelvalus' entire icon needs to be changed to better represent the whole I have a staff moment. I don't like anything that Quelvalus' icon is now because Quelvalus doesn't use a shield, is constantly using a staff sling. Like, none of it matters. None of it, like, makes sense. This bastard is gonna end up using a goddamn Cure Light Wounds if I don't do anything. Manual. All right, is it too far to throw a goddamn dagger or whatever dart? It, I think it is. Aim manual here. Yeah, throwing a dart at your face. Here's a rock. 
Look at how many ranged characters we have. What is wrong with me? I mean, technically, my ranger is good up close. You actually kind of remember this fight. You think there's a room that's safe to rest in nearby, but you don't fully remember. I have no clue. I mean, there's, like, safe rooms. I've seen them before in previous, like, games in the Gold Box series. I don't remember in this one. I've been through this level before when I tried playing it on my own. Um, but I don't remember it. Done. Quit. Done. Quit. Get to the battle now. 488 experience because we murdered someone this time. Detect. Take. Items. Ooh, potions and a magic shield. Ooh, chainmail. Hold on. Chainmail is better than scale mail. Let's give it to Karen. Uh, okay, Karen, take items. Take that. The magic shield, Kern, items. Take that. Potion. Items. You take that. Clerical spells. Uh, honestly, Quavalos. Take that. Take that. We have to use read magic on it. No, wait. I don't know if we have to use read magic on the clerical spells. I think we just have to ready them and look at them. Money? Oh, God. Exit. Pool. Share. Each of 74. Mason a shield. Eh. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure? No. This looks like a safe place to rest. Here it is. All right. Uh, let's put a little tent icon in here, because that's my safe place icon. Where is my tent icon? There was a tent icon here. I found a tent icon once before, and I've used it before. I swear to motherfucking god. There it is. Tent. Boop! Alright. Okay, so that'll be good. Exit. In camp. Rest. Wait, exit. Fix. Exit. Hold on. View items. Okay. Uh, undo this. Ready that. Items. I think we say use. Neutralize poison. They're both neutralized poisons. Uh, trade this to Karen. That way we each have one. And then, unready that, trade that to yourself, ready your chainmail. Okay, exit, exit. So we're gonna do in camp. Here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna alter icon, parts, weapon. I think there's a staff. Previous. I don't know if we should use this staff one. I think this one. Keep. Exit. First part. Arm. Keep. Uh. Leg. Keep. Exit. Second color. Leg. Keep. I mean, he's our cleric mage. Why the fuck am I treating him like a soldier who's carrying around a shield? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Exit. Is Icon okay? Yes. Okay, so... What is level? That's supposed to be the difficulty of the game? What is PIX? Animation on. Oh. Exit. Okay, so we're gonna do save, C, put the DOS now. 
Magic. Memorize. Fucking hell. You need your detect. No. Memorize. Because you got detect from your special. Cure light wounds. Because everyone's fucking sucky at this. Leah. Memorize. Detect magic. Cure light wounds. You know, we have Bless, and they've been sucking right now. Quinton. Yeah, because normally Quinton had four spells that he was able to ready. Now he only has two, because of the state of the Red Moon. So we're going to put two sleeps on him, because honestly, sleep is really, really good right now. Exit, exit, memorize, yes. Rest, rest. That's why Quelvalos is fine, because the white Solinari is still um, full. Save. We don't need to. Eh, that. What is word number one after the heading encounters? Oh, this one's not the same. Man. Let's save the fi the map file. So this one's not the same as the other GOG ones. It's um, because the other GOG ones, you could enter anything and it would just accept them. This one, we have to actually put in the correct one. Which means I have to open up that uh, PDF. Begin adventuring. So we gotta do in camp. Uh, in camp, and we have to do all the memorizing again. Detect magic, cure light wounds, exit, exit, yes. Leah, memorize. Detect magic, cure light wounds, exit, exit, yes. Quelvalos, memorize. Three cure light wounds, yes, yes. And then Quentin, it's both sleep. Exit, exit, yes. Rest, go. And I believe it was when I tried saving. So save. There we are. Uh, so give me a second. I gotta pull up the... Their codes. It's codes.pdf. Uh, so what is it asking? What is word number three? Page eight. Civilization. It's many. Men. Let's see. Put the DOS now. Exit. All right. Move. So we're going south. Searching like crazy the entire time. This is a well-furnished study. I will find a way to put that in. One, two... I think it's like this. Yep. Um, I could just say study. A study. In case we need to know for any reason. I don't remember. Exit, move. One, two, dip. So we go up one and it's this.
go up one, and there's a door, and I'm pretty sure this goes back to where we were. So, in camp, save C, no, exit, let's go through. Uh, hold on, exit, exit, Grimble, move, pick. This room is filled with old coffins. Ew. I have a coffin symbol. Coffins. There you go. <laughs> like, ew. West. Stop searching. Just move. I, I think the search command automatic. Oh, goody, draconians. The search command, I think, automatically finds stuff if you end up doing it. It doesn't do a check every single time. I think. So they're Baz, which means they will... Ugh, all the warriors. Ooh! Cast. Sleep. Fuck these guys. Manual. Uh, this one. It's not gonna affect the Draconians. I'll be lucky if it does. Oh, hey! Hey! Fucking hell, aim. Honestly, if you put around the nose or throat at least a little, it should pick up after a what? Oh, you're talking in another chat again, Retro. <laughs> Um, get rid of it. Lost my broadsword. Oh, he's talking to you? Oh, okay. About what? Oh. Get rid of this one. Oh, about a test, okay. <gasps> Rumble! Move here, cast. Cure light wounds. Partially healed. Holy shit, Brimble has a ton of... You only healed by two hit points. Could always use the potion and hope it's a healing potion. Healing potion. It was worth it. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna hold on to the healing potions and stockpile them for forever like I usually do. <sighs> Exit. Um... Cast. Sleep. That one's asleep. That's it. Guess it's better than nothing. Get the draconian. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Five. Wait a minute. You don't have a weapon in your hand. There. Seven. Um. Uh, my god, focus this one down. Let my ranged attackers hit the draconian. Fucking hell. Do we know its armor class is four? It's not that bad. There we go. Hit that one. Yes! Okay. That's decent. 
I don't. I, I, I was gonna put a quarter staff on him and have him close in, but I'm more like his dexterity is the only thing that's good. Um, move here. Yo. That'll fuck with that one down there. There. <sighs> oh no. You're talking about COVID test. No, Cherubeth. Oh, I hope you don't. It sucks. Positive note, it might be just the regular flu. It might be the regular flu. Flu still sucks. Glad you're back to these games. Yeah, I kind of am too. Um, aim manual. I'm I'm wondering about my party makeup though because they're all a little. It's possible I might swap one of them out in the next game. I don't know. I kind of feel like I have too many ranged attackers. Like my only two upfront attackers is my knight and my cleric. And I chose not to make her a fighter cleric, because I was like, why do I need a fighter cleric? Brimble is kind of up close, but he's a fighter thief, which means the most he can have is leather armor. I mean... Still look after yourself in drunk fluids? No, drunk. You have a Route 44 power aid? What is a Route 44 power aid? Done quit. Done quit. Done quit. Done quit. Continue battle now. 191. Okay. Uh, detect. Take. Items. No magic. Exit. Pool share. View. We have 77 steel each. Exit. Still treasure left. Do you want to go back and claim your treasure now? I don't want to carry a bunch of junk just to sell. Even though part of me wants to. Exit. Hold on. Uh, Karen, cast. Cure Light Wounds, your last one, apparently, on Kern. My knight of 12 hit points. <laughs> he has 4,476 experience. What level does he need? Is he able to level? Hold on. So a knight... In 600 more experience. It's 5,000. So, from my understanding with this game, you start off not at level 1 with 0 experience. You do start off with a set number of experience, and depending on which class you take, determines what your starting level is. Which is why I have certain characters at level 2, and since ones such as Kern at level 1. He needs 5,000 experience to hit level 2. He's not far away from it. Um... move. I can't save, save, see. No, exit. Uh, move. That's right, we were leaving. Exit, do search, move. One, two. That's what I thought. Alright. One, two. Same over here. Eh? Monsters attack. That's a monster? <laughs> Just... <laughs> uh... <sighs> Is that vines or wallpaper? On the walls, I think it's supposed to be vines. So, remember Throttle was supposed to be the Hobgoblin capital or a hobgoblin outpost or something that we ended up taking over after the War of the Lance. We, the humans, whatever, the side of good and light and truth and all that other stuff. Just hit the goddamn... Is there any human-based character in here? Yes. It's one warrior. Really? I did one damage there. Turn. Bovalos turns the undead. 
I don't know if we can effectively turn the one we can't see. Move. God damn it. Going after the warrior with, um... There's two warriors. Shit. Go after the warriors. I will leave the rats to my ranged care my two ranged uh, spellcasters. Uh fucking hell. So the warriors have an armor class of three. I'm like wondering why the hell I'm constantly missing with them. I might be able to get Brimble behind him actually. Why is my mage going so much? Not that I'm upset by this, but dear lord. He's all like, I get to go again because I'm so excited that I've killed rats. Move. Damn it. I'm trying to get him to backstab. God. My god. <sighs> kind of jump scare are you dealing with? Are you talking about with the 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 metric system and stuff? Holy shit. Turn. At least we turned the skeletons. Whatever. I don't care. Uh done delay. Cause I kinda wanna delay Brimble's turn to see if I can get Kern to first get in there and do an attack from the other side. Because that'll, like, prompt him to turn around to Kern. That. Which means Brimble can now backstab, as long as no one else hits. I believe. Damn it. Who did he hit? Brimble? Ugh. Requires you to actually be able to hit. Brimble needs something that increases his uh, strength just so he had, can backstab more often. <sighs> Aim. I'm also tired of Brimble having, like, the constant need for clerical healing. For fuck's sakes. Yeah, see, he's a t paying attention to Brimble so much that I, I can't get him to, like... Oh, no, Brimble. Shit. 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 <laughs> shit. Shit. <laughs> Says Quelva lost the entire way. <laughs> Manual. Here. That better have been decent healing. You get an extra fucking die to deal- to, like, heal with, you better have healed decently. Yes, backstab! <laughs> That's why I positioned them the way I did. Um... Put away your short bow, get on your broadsword, and get over there. Thank you. Someone has to be able to do some hits. Aim, manual, what are you at? 11? 12, 20. We can't see Karen. <laughs> so we don't know if she's bleeding out of the mouth. You think there's a sonic opening over in your city? Are you kidding me? Over in, in in the land of the British? Why the hell would Sonic be opening over this? So weird. At the same time, I mean, I've eaten at Sonic once with Isaac, and I was not impressed with it at all. And everyone's all like, oh my god, their drinks are what's so great. And I just don't remember the drinks. <laughs> Seven damage to Kern? Are you fucking kidding me? He has 12 hit points. What are you doing to my boy? Stop it. Oh, he surrendered. Done, quit. Done, quit. Done, quit. Done, quit. Continue battle? No. Pool, share, take. 
Here's what I'm going to do. Brimble's going to take this ring mail. This ring mail. Broadsword. Broadsword. Shield. Shield. Exit. Exit. And what we're going to do is we're going to say move. And we're leaving. Fuck you. You're near throttle. Do you enter? No. You're near an outpost. You enter. Yes. Kern gives his tithe to the knighthood. Where do you wish to go? We wish to go to the armory. To view items. No. Uh, exit. Buy. Darts. Darts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's enough. Because if I remember correctly, like, <laughs> you weigh your poor mage down by carrying a shit ton of darts. 55. Oh my god. Um, exit. 12 loss. View. Items. Sell. 17 steel pieces. Yes, go. Exit. Exit. Leah. View items. Uh. Bye. One, two, three. Exit view items. Why are arrows so much cheaper than fucking darts? Her encumbrance is 1096. Is it because she's carrying all this crap? She's got two broadswords, a short bow, and scale mail with 108 sticks with points. Poorly made arrows. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god. Sell the broadsword. Zero steel pieces, thanks. No one wants to buy from the Kender. <laughs> I don't care, just get rid of it. Thanks. Exit. So, he can wear better armor, if you remember from the previous games. He could wear ringmail, whatever, because of the fighter class. He loses his ability to backstab if he's in anything higher than leather. Uh, sell this. 20 steel pieces. Done. Kern. Sell the scale mail. 20. Scale mail. 20. How about the shield? Wait. No. ID the shield. Yes. Looks like some sort of shield plus one. Sell. Sell. Sell? Oh, no, wait, no. So we want to unready this, and we're doing... Trade that to himself. And then trade this to himself. So, broadsword, shield plus one, plate mail. So, Thacko 8... He has an armor class of one now. 12 hit points. So he's really hard to hit, but when you hit him, he's gonna crumble. <laughs> Why is Leora our new frontline fighter? Oh my god. It's like she's like reincarnated and transferred over to another world. And as she grew up, she was all like, I'm stronger now. And people are all like, well, you'd think that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Did we have anything else we had? No, it was a potion, and we used it. We gambled on it being a healing potion, and we won. Where do you wish to go? To the inn? We have plenty of space for you. Um, fix us, thank god. Magic memorize. <laughs> Apparently we're memorized to detect magic ending. Two cure light wounds. Exit, exit, memorize the spells, yes. I feel like bless is not as useful unless we cast it before going into combat. Leah almost never uses any of her spells, I swear to god. Cure Light Wounds. And you get one bonus spell. It's a magic user bonus spell, too. Sleep. Quentin? Memorize? Memorize. Yes.
I just saw what time it is. Man. Man. Save B with the DOS now. We're going to be ending in a second. Leave. Okay, we're going back. Do you want to enter? No. You're near throttle. Do you enter? Yes. How much money do we each have? 69. Giggity. Um, 10. 97. 10? You just sold a bunch of stuff for a decent amount. What'd you do? Decide to tithe all your money away? Fuck! You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to check to see if anyone's ready to level. Um, my cleric. Hold on. So, it's almost 21.30 there. Oh my god. Clerics. Clerics level at level at 4,000 to level 2. Karen's ready to level. Brimble is a fighter thief. So fi he has 3,079. Remember, he gets half as much experience points. Uh, so fighter for level... Oh, he'd be 3. Fighter for level 3 is 4,000. And thief for level 3 is... 2,500. So he's ready to level. Aaliyah. Cleric Ranger with 3,329. She's a level 1 cleric. She needs 4,000 to get to that. Uh, Ranger. Can't even see Ranger on the book. There's two different levels of advancement based off of... Oh, so Clerics of Neutrality have less power than the Clerics of Good, but the Clerics of Neutrality level faster. By like an extra thousand experience points. So a Cleric of Good alignment needs 4,000 experience to get to level 2. If they were neutral, they only need 3,000. Oh, but it gets out of whack later on because a Cleric of level 8... Which apparently is one of the, is the close to our max level in this one. A cleric of good for level eight needs only one hundred and sixty thousand. A cleric of neutrality needs two hundred and twenty five thousand. So around level five is when things swap. That's really weird. We're going all the way to level eight in this one. Yeah, some classes max out at seven, some max out at nine. Damn, that's really high for this. Because remember, pools of radiance, we only went up to level six. Um, uh, where's Ranger, though? Um, there's maximum level limits by all of the races. I'd have to look at that. Ranger, there we go. So, Ranger goes up to level 2 at 2,251. Cleric... Is again at 4,000, I think it was. Yeah, 4,000. So, Aaliyah cannot level at the moment. Quelvalos, he's a cleric white mage. 6,000 experience, holy shit. How does Quelvalos have so much experience? Quelvalos is a cleric with 6,000 experience. He's needs only like 1,500 more to hit level three as a cleric. As a white robe, he needs 10,000 to hit level 3. Holy shit. Quinton has 7,272. As a red robe, he needs 10,000 experience to hit level 3. It's really weird. I think the, ex the experience is different depending upon your class. So, I think... I think what we'll do is we're going to end here because I need to figure out dinner. <laughs>